Good day viewers. You are welcome to this video channel and thank you for stopping by. Today I want to show you something very interesting about snake farming. How you can make fortune from snake farming. Then in this video, I'm basically going to show you the basics of snake farming. How you can start a snake farming ventures. Anyway, in the subsequent videos, I'm going to show you the calculated uh, expected revenue you can generate doing snake farming ventures. So, if you really want to know details about snake farming, keep watching this channel. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share these videos so that it will reach as many people as possible. So, and I'm going to tell you also what can hinder you from achieving the giant feat that, uh, that uh, is embedded, the fortune that is embedded in snake farming ventures. So but in, in, in today's uh, practical uh, video, I just want to take you through and uh, to know what you really need to start snake farming ventures, the environment, the, I mean, the environment you need, the preparation you, I mean, you have to make and how you have to, to start doing snake farming business. So, if you, really, if you are really interested in knowing details about this, then let's go. You see, here, this is our uh, snake farm right inside our compound. You know, here you see it, where we camp here, and you can see that we use bricks to build it, five pushes of brick is what we use to build it, and you can see the fence. The, the, the normal fence of this compound just right beside that place. Then you see, after the uh, uh, the bricks, we use net to continue it to the top, so that the snails can be housed there. Now let's go around it. Let's go around it. You see, now here is an entrance that we have made. Now we we'll go around it now. So we we'll go around it. Let's go around towards the right now. We are going to, that that purple is planted outside the uh, outside the bank, it's giving shade. This is an angle, this is the other side. Now in this other side, you will see something. I want you to observe something here. There is space between the snake farm and uh and our fence. But some people will I mean I mean usually build it along, I mean, join with their fence. It's not ideal, at least for security purposes. So let that be space between uh, your snake farm and your and your fence. I'm going to show you a reason very soon why I have to say that. No, now no, we have a dog there that is doing. I mean, that serve as security guard, especially in the night or during the day. I mean, when we are not around during the day. So now I'm going to show you that dog now. The dog is able to go around this whole place and the other side. Now let's see. I mean, let's uh, see my dog. Now let's see the mark. Now, Mark, look okay. uh -huh. So, you can see my dog there. So, it serves as a form of security guard. So, it's, it's able to go around, you know, this, I mean, this uh, snake house, you know, so that no intruder can just get there. Now, you can see this side, we have plastered it from outside. Okay, this side, we are still going to plaster it also from outside. It's still work in progress. Now, we are going, we are moving. Let's go around it. Let's go around it. Let's go around it. No, just like that, just like that. No, that's our our, our house there. I mean, where we live between it and the snake house, we can see enough space. I mean, we live enough space there. So now go there. So we are going back to where we started. I mean, to move around the pen now. Now, as we get to this place now, let's go to the entrance. Then we have to enter to be able to see what is inside. I mean the, uh, the the snake house. So now let's enter. Now let's ent enter. Let's enter. You see now here is the inside. You can see all these vegetations. We deliberately leave them there. We plant some there. Then we leave, and we mess some there. We leave them so that they will be. I mean they they will shade the place. The snakes can hide under it, we create a natural environment for them, for them to grow. No, this is one of the things they eat, I mean, that orange. This 
This one fell from the uh, uh, from the tree, so we cut it because we don't eat such. We cut it into two and open it for the snails to come and eat. You know. Then also uh, the one that we saw after we have eaten our own portion from it, we throw it for them also. They eat everything. Uh, purpose, uh, I mean purple is also a good uh, nutrition for snail. You no, know? basically fruits. When our uh, this thing, uh, our our cashew, also when it falls. Then we, 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 we remove the nuts, then we put the body, we give it to them. In fact, they eat it very well. Now we are moving right now. These are inside. All these places you are seeing, snails are under. Snails are under. Snails are under. There is still a video where I will show you, I mean, where the, the, the period where they move around. That's the night. The night period video. I'm still going to show you. No, this is the purple that we planted inside the, uh, inside the snail uh, farm here. And there is a mango also that we have planted there. You know, this one you are seeing, this tree you are seeing, there's a climber that is going into it. You can see the leaf of those climbers now. You know, this very climber, it will cover all those places. This is walnut. This is walnut. So it will cover all the places. You know, you know, this is the walnut. <laughs> all these places you are seeing will be covered. All these places you are seeing, it will cover everything very, very soon. So the essence is just to provide the shade needed by these snails for them, you know, right inside that, I mean, particular place. You know, in all these places, we have snails there. You can see all the vegetations, we are allowing them to grow on their own. Now, see this particular uh, 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 plant is edible for human. This plant you are seeing is edible for human. But because of the way it multiplies, growing and, uh, and shade the ground around it, that is why we decided to plant it also there. Now let me, uh, I, I want to show you now uh, the snails where they are hiding just for you to see. But don't worry, continue watching this channel. You are still going to see them where they are moving in, in, in real practical. Now let's see the snails you know, where they are hiding. They are hiding in all those places that I just want to show you that we are really, really in snail farm, inside the snail farm. I mean, you can see it there. You see, see it, you see, see it, you show, uh -huh, you can see. You can see, they are all under that place, they are all under that place. You understand? They are all, they all hide under that, I mean, under that place, where the vegetations are. So, that's where they are hiding. Now, you see, inside the place also, we have, I've shown you mango, I've shown you purple. Then, this is cocoa yam. So this is coco yam also, we planted there. You see uh, pineapple on that side that we planted there. Now you see the body, I mean, I mean, and the brick inside. We are plastered everywhere around. You see it? Everywhere around. Everywhere around. You know, the brick is inside. We are plastered it around. So, you know, uh, uh, at least, you know, it makes the place look beautiful. Then the snail will not be able to eat into the bricks. Now, this is uh, a uh, 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 turmeric. Turmeric, we just planted this one, so it's just growing up. So, very soon, all this place will be filled with fresh, fresh vegetation. Where this is coco yam, you know, all this place will be filled with fresh veg vegetation very, very soon. Very, very soon. That everywhere will be green around the year. Now, we have made a device that will make us to have the greenness around the year. No, here is that device that gives us uh, watering during the dry season. Now, let's go to the watering uh, system. The watering system. Okay, you can see the pipe. So, you can see it there, roll it. Okay, you can see it. You can see it there, roll it. Uh -huh. So, that's how it rolls. So, I will still show you practical of how it works. Now, right in this video. Just keep watching. Okay. So now, from there, this is the second one right inside that uh, pen. This, I mean, this pen is about uh, about uh, 14 by 10, 14 by 10 size. So, uh, so this is another one. This is another one. The, I mean, uh, uh, that's the fourth one. This is the fifth one. This is the sixth one. You know, we have six inside that place that during the dry season, they will help us to water the place. Now, let me show you. I will soon show you how it uh, usually work now before we go to the source to the control to the control of the water now go to the control now here is the control now i'm going to open it now open it okay now you can see it you will see you will see it now water will come out you can see you can see it's spreading already it's spreading already however you know this one the reason why the speed is low like this because the speed is low as you see it now 
The reason why the speed is slow like this is because uh, the water is being supplied from the tank that supply water to the old compound. So, but for us to have a better, I mean, speed or better efficient uh, watering system, we are still going to put engine, the engine that will be directly linked to this, to the source, then to this uh, pipe that will water it. Anyway, anyone that you do, what matters is just that you just make sure that the place is kept cool. The place is kept cool and nice. You know, when you do the place and the place is cool and nice, then you know you are good to go. You know, it's never, you know, I mean, I mean, uh, there is no specific way you should do it. You understand? All that matters is that just make sure that you, the, 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 I mean, you are able to maintain uh, the, the coolness around the year. Then you are going to have a better, much better yield. If you are able to do know this little that we have been able to I mean, to show you. Now, thank you for watching this video. I hope is uh, you find it very interesting. If you find it very interesting, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and it will be very nice if you set up uh, your notification button so that as soon as we release the next video, you'll be I mean immediately notified. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.